For accounting purposes, a derivative is defined based on characteristics. In accordance with ASC 815, a derivative is a financial instrument or other contract with all of the following characteristics. 1. The contract must have an underlying and a notional amount or payment provision, or both. 2. The contract requires no initial net investment or a small initial net investment. And 3. The contract requires or permits net settlement. If a contract is within the scope of ASC 815, meets all three characteristics, and is not designated in a qualifying hedging relationship, then it would be recognized on the balance sheet as an asset or liability, measured at fair value, with all subsequent changes in fair value from period to period recognized through earnings. Typical contracts that meet the definition of a derivative and that would be accounted for as such are option contracts, swap contracts, and forward or future contracts. But what about contracts that do not in their entirety meet the definition of a derivative, but may have terms within the overall contract that affect some or all of the cash flows or the value of other exchanges required by the contract in a manner similar to a derivative instrument. It may mean that a derivative instrument exists within another contract or instrument. We will learn about these types of contracts in this module, as well as the appropriate accounting in accordance with the guidance in ASC 815. Let's get started.